Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches and I just filmed this already, but I accidentally filmed it in slow-mo, which obviously no one wants to see. Anyway, I am here today with some beautiful creams from Dimension Nails. So today I'm sharing the new Argentine Pampas collection, which has some beautiful neutral kind of pastels and they're all gorgeous, as well as a few Dimension Nails shades that I've been eyeing for a while and Nail Stuff was kind enough to send me. They make absolutely gorgeous creams that are like basically almost always opaque in one coat and you can purchase them at nailstuff.ca, which is a Canadian nail polish shop that I personally love shopping from. They have Dimension Nails, obviously. They also carry Starly, Cadillacer, and a whole bunch of other brands that I love. And I also have an affiliate code with them. So if you do plan on shopping from Nail Stuff, please consider using my code. I will link it down in the description so you can use it. And if you do, thank you. So Dimension Nails is a 10 free brand as well as being vegan and cruelty free. And they also donate 5% of all of their sales to different animal rescues and nonprofits. So if you're into that, then this is definitely a brand worth checking out. And I will also just say that the new boxes that their polishes come in are so adorable. They're actually beautiful. They have different animals on them and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So let's get into the swatches. So first up we have Pompous Fox and this one is a beautiful light creamy neutral cream with a subtle red undertone and if you're someone who applies or wears light colors like this you'll know they can be sometimes tricky to apply but as you can see this one is practically opaque and perfect in one coat but obviously I would recommend two. The formula is amazing. I love the brush. It's so easy to work with. And all of my swatches today are topped with the Dimension Nails Quickie Top Coat, which is fast drying. It claims that it can dry up to four coats of polish in less than three minutes. It has a UV inhibitor, which prevents yellowing, and it also hides imperfections in the application of nail polish. So it does dry pretty fast, and I did like how shiny it was. The second polish is called Maned Wolf, and this one is a light creamy pastel orange with a subtle smoky undertone. So this one, I would say, definitely comes off, at least on me, as more of a peach than an orange. Um, it's very light at any rate, and it has an amazing formula. Once again, you can see just how nicely it self-levels. And of course, I recommend finishing with a top coat but I really love how vibrant this one is. I obviously love the formula and I think it's just a really beautiful light peachy shade. And here we have Vizcasha and this one is a light creamy mustard like yellow cream with a subtle smoky undertone. So I guess when they say smoky, it just kind of means like a bit of a dustiness to it, which is what I'm interpreting it as. But as you can see, this is a beautiful buttery yellow. It applies basically like butter. It is a beautiful bright shade of yellow and if anyone works with yellows you know that they can be notoriously difficult. This one clearly is not. It self levels. It's just an absolute pleasure to work with and it is completely beautiful. Here we have Pampas Deer and this one is a light creamy green with a subtle smoky undertone. This one, to me, is a little bit leaning towards sage, but a very light kind of sagey green. Again, incredible formula for a light shade like this. So easy to work with, and it covers completely in two coats. I don't think anyone would need more than two. And with this top coat in particular, it really does smooth everything out so you have a perfect finish after you apply your top coat. And here we have Giant Ant Eater. This one is a very light creamy blue. And this one, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. Again, it has a fantastic formula. It self levels, it's so easy to work with. If you've ever worked with SE or OPI creams, then I mean, these are just an entirely different experience. Every single polish is perfect. They're so easy to work with. Nothing is ever disappointing. I have never been disappointed by a Dimension Nails cream in my life, and I've tried quite a few. 
So here it is in two coats plus top coat. And now we're moving on to Brazilian Guinea Pig, which is a creamy light pink with pink slash red undertones. And this one kind of looks like bubble gum on my nails. As you can see, it has a beautiful formula. It's so light. It self levels. And I'm just kind of obsessed with it. Um, I don't have anything more to say except it's so pretty and I love this one. I'm going to wear it a lot in summer. And here we have Guanaco. This one is a light creamy blurple, sort of like a blue purple. And this one I would say definitely has a dusty sort of undertone to it. As you can see, a fantastic self-leveling formula. It's kind of almost sort of like a darker cornflower blue. It reminds me of Zoya Caitlin, which is my namesake polish. And it's just really beautiful. So here it is in two coats plus top coat, totally opaque and perfect. And here we have Burrowing Owl, which is a creamy neutral with pink slash red undertones. So this is one of those sort of terracotta rose type shades and it's so beautiful. So it's practically opaque on the first coat, but I always apply two just to sort of plump it out, if that makes sense. Sometimes I find it looks a little too thin on the first coat, even if it covers completely. I think it's because I have ridges on my nails. Anyway, this one is absolutely stunning and so elegant. And these ones are just kind of random. They're not part of the newest collection, but I've always wanted to try them. And this one is called Swallowtail Butterfly, which is a sunny yellow cream. This one kind of reminds me of egg yolks, but like a cartoon egg yolk, because I've never had an egg yolk this yellow. But anyway, again, for a yellow, it has a fantastic formula. It's self-leveling, completely opaque in two coats, and it's just super bright and vibrant, which I absolutely love when it comes to yellow nail polishes. So here it is in two coats plus top coat. And here is Blue Morpho Butterfly, which I've always been lusting after. This one is a really vibrant and bright blue. I would say this is very close to how it looks in real life. For some reason, I thought this might be a dupe for the Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. I think it is, but it's not. It's a different shade of blue entirely. Um, it's obviously beautiful, but it's just not that shade of blue. So the other thing I love about the top coat, just quickly, is that it gives your nails like a very gel-like shine, and I've been using it on other manis, and I really like how it performs. And here is a very dark and vampy one called Dilophosaurus, and I absolutely love this kind of jelly, juicy, vampy, burgundy red cream. I think they're so beautiful. So this one has a fantastic formula. It's so dark. It's just like vampires and blood and oh, I love it so much. Not that I'm like really into vampires or anything, but <laughs> um, I do really love this nail polish and I do kind of love that dark bloody nail polish look. So this is it in two coats plus top coat. And last but not least, we have Skeleton Shrimp, which is a creamy black with a subtle shimmer. So this one, I hope you can kind of touch touch it. I hope you can see that hint of a subtle silver shimmer that's there. It's really pretty, and you can definitely see it. It's harder to see it in the video, but it's easier to see in real life. And this one's opaque in one coat. So if you want a black or you want something black but not quite black, then definitely pick this one up because it's so easy to work with and that shimmer is just absolutely beautiful. So I do have a few favorites from the Argentine Pampas collection. I really love Burrowing Owl. I think that is a really gorgeous neutral. It looks really good on my skin tone and I love those sort of like dusty brown type shades. 
And I also love Brazilian guinea pig because I love pinks that sort of have a drop of purple and I feel like this is one of those. It has an amazing formula, it was so easy to work with and it just looks really, really good. Yes, that is all for me. So let me know in the comments if you are a fan of Dimension Nails, let me know what your favorites are and hopefully you're staying cool wherever you are because it is a struggle where I am. It is so hot and wow, yeah, it's not good. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.